What's up everybody? Short intro there because this video, we are back with another comparison of two Empire 58 bases. And today, had to do this, time is of the essence because the absolute easiest, although there's been a, a recent one that's been pretty popular, easily the two most popular finishes are in stock at the same time here at Empire Music. So we have a beautiful Heavy Relic Violin Burst. Check out the back on this. Such a killing finish. I knew when I picked this out that it was gonna be popular. Um, and it took about a year to come in. And the first like three or four, this might be the fifth, sixth one that we've had. They've all sold super fast. This is the last one left. In fact, we got three in. Another Heavy Relic and a Journeyman Relic and they w flew out the door. Um, so this one's still here and Magenta Sparkle. So again, beautiful relic. This one's in Heavy Relic as well. Note too, if you see it in the camera there, you get the black kind of sparkle finish underneath the purple that wears away when they do the relicing. It's so cool. I love that. Almost like it's like a silver, uh, silver sparkle finish on that. It's so awesome. Uh, but another super popular finish. I did not think this one would be quite as popular when I initially placed the order for Magenta Sparkle. And I remember I was on vacation in North Carolina with my girlfriend and her family like two years ago. And this came in right before I left. And I remember we were eating burritos down in Corolla, North Carolina. And I was trying to sell this working on my vacation, because I'm dedicated. Um, I, it just it happened to look at my email, actually. Uh, I wasn't really trying to work. And um, I, somebody hit me up about buying it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, cool, we can do it. And I, I think I called or texted Joe here at the shop. I'm like, yo, I got the Magenta Sparkle sold. He's like, it just sold. So like, it went super, it went in like a day. Basically a nine hour drive to North Carolina and this thing was sold. Um, and they've all gone really quickly since. So I figured it'd be a cool time to like just do a quick comparison video between the two uh, finishes, obviously. But like, is there any sonic difference in there? There will be. And that's the beauty of these basses. Um, it's the beauty of any well-made instrument, whether we're talking Gibson Custom Shop, Fender Custom Shop, Martin Custom Shop, Taylor Custom Shop, uh, some of the big names that we carry here at Empire Music. But what's cool is we get to experience these slight nuanced differences that happen between the same model, essentially. Outside of what your eyes see, your ears are going to get a little different characteristic, I think, um, at least mine do, uh, between like, you know, the necks aren't all, they're all 60s oval C, but they're all slightly different. Uh, the mass is a little bit different, whether the body's the same, whether the instrument's the same weight or not, uh, just how it was put together. And then the pickup line, these are hand wound pickups. There are exclusive Empire 58 pickups in there. Uh, they're hand wound. So there is some tolerance there between, you know, what what we see as far as output and sensitivity and compression, all those things that I've talked about in the videos um, hundreds of times over, I feel like. And if you've called me, I've, I've talked to you uh, directly about it. And you're always welcome to call me here at the shop. It's 412-343-5299. Happy to answer anything that I can, uh, especially as it pertains to these instruments that I'm very proud of having a large hand in designing them. Uh, but also anything bass that you need that obviously would pertain to Empire Music. If you're calling me about a Spectre bass, I'm not going to have a whole lot of information for you. Not that I don't like Spectre basses. I love them. We just don't sell them. So I don't know them very well. Um, I know sometimes people call and they're like, I'm looking at this music, man. And I'm looking at this Spectre. What, what, what should I? I'm like, I can't tell you. They're both awesome basses. We just don't sell them. So I don't have that information. But as it pertains to the Empire 58, I, I, I have pretty much all the information for you because again, I designed these bases and I've played every single one that's come through the shop, that's come in and gone out. I've played every single one. It hasn't been a dud yet. Um, although some fit my playing style and my hand and my attack a little better than others. And this is what that, this is a perfect showcase um, to, to kind of show that. Uh, there's, there's a difference between these bases. So let's see what you hear out there. Real quick, the specs. 
Um, I've said this stuff a ton of times. Roasted alder body, our Empire 58 pickup that lies in between the 57 hand wound and the 62 hand wound. We have a little special formula there that we developed with Vincent Van Tricht in the custom shop. Thank you, Vince, for your uh, work during that formative period of these bases. It was, it was paramount to how these things came out. Uh, one piece roasted maple neck. It's quarter sawn maple, vintage nut width there, so inch and three quarters. So you get the wide string spacing there. Uh, just absolute stellar P bases. I think the best thing out there on the market. I know I'm biased, but I've played a lot of them and I really, really love the experience of these uh, 10 out of 10 times. And I own one myself and I designed them, like I said. So yeah, I am biased. <laughs> Take it or leave it though, YouTube, YouTube world. Um, so let's check out some of the tones. Here. Let's start with the violin burst. Uh, full volume, full tone. Jump over to the Magenta Sparkle. All right, so now we will showcase it uh, with the pick and, or a pick, not the pick, I guess either way you wanna say it, right? Uh, and we roll some tone off. So I got toned back around 85, 90% on both of them. All right, now the pick on the Magenta Sparkle.
right, and then we'll put a little bit of effects on them. So back with the violin burst, full volume, full tone. I have the Earthquaker Devices Blooms, which has become my go-to overdrive pedal, into the also Earthquaker Devices Disaster Transport uh, modulated delay, although I don't have the modulation button on. I think I hear some on there. I don't know the inner works of it. it sounds cool though. So uh, overdrive, delay, full volume, full tone. <laughs> take a little bit of the delay off. We'll take not take all of the delay off. So running through the tones on two Empire 58 P bass, remarkable how different they are. Granted, they're the same because it's really the same specs on there, but there is not, I don't think even just a nuanced difference of them. These to me, at least reacting to my touch, are different P basses. They're both awesome. They both, I think, so my somewhat biased, kind of unbiased in this case, <laughs> between the two. Um, I found, and I've said, this is, this is kind of what happens every time I do one of these videos, is I find one to have a little bit more compression to it, 
this magenta sparkle. I found this one to be a little bit more sensitive to how I touched the instrument. So I would guess, and I didn't do this, I should have, hindsight's 20-20. Um, I'm guessing this is a little lower output on the multimeter, so the output impedance is a little bit lower. I tend to like that for my touch. Uh, when I start to dig into it, it compressed a little bit more. The violin burst didn't do as much of that, but it had more presence to it um, in sort of that lower mid-range. So I actually think this is a better, if we're thinking, talking just raw p bass supportive instrument i actually think the violin burst kind of excelled at that but i think the magenta sparkle had a little bit more sensitivity to it um, just overall on it uh, depending on how you play so this might fit in a little different environment this would this is just a killer rock bass really really cool blues rock i think this is going to fit really well so would this but this also lends itself you were doing some slap stuff on there i think this has a little bit more little juice to that style of playing on it they're both awesome though they're both in stock right now by the time you watch this video uh hopefully they are but also part of me hopes they're not because i like selling the things too it's that's that that's our job here at empire music um if you have any questions at all feel free to reach out to me, 412-343-5299. You can email me directly, anthony at empiremusic.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.